So yesterday, a large female great white shark washed up on Navarre Beach in Florida, and the shark is dead. In all of the reports that I have seen, they say that the shark had no visible injuries. There's nothing that there is that could have led to the shark's death that they could visibly see. But sadly, that is not the case. You can actually see right here this fishing line and the hook that goes into the shark's mouth. And although we don't know that that was the cause of death, it could definitely be a contributing factor. But something else really interesting is that three weeks ago, this YouTube channel posted catching a large great white shark in the same beach on Navarre Beach. And another really interesting thing is that the fishing tackle that this group used when they caught the white shark three weeks ago is the same fishing tackle you can see hanging from the white shark's jaw that was recently washed up on the beach. So naturally, the first thing that I do is I go through and examine the video from the white shark that this group caught to see if it could potentially be the same shark that washed up on the beach. When I'm first looking at it, the shark could be a similar size, but this individual that was caught three weeks ago does look to appear smaller. And I can't tell if it's a male or female. They don't fully ever like show the underside of the shark, so I can't confirm that it is a female shark, which is the sex of the shark that washed up on the beach yesterday. Another thing is that the shark that they caught three weeks ago actually has this really large scar on her back and a bunch of other scarring along the backside, which does make me think it could be a female from mating scars from the male shark. But again, cannot confirm, but that scar is something that we'll look at in the shark that washed up recently. So this is a shark that washed up yesterday, and you can see that there is no scarring or anything on the back. A wound like that could heal very quickly in a matter of weeks, but there would still be some remnant of scarring. And this shark that washed up yesterday does appear to be a lot bigger in the stomach area and just larger overall, which leads me to think that it is not the same shark. But the fact is, this shark has fishing line hanging from its jaw and that very well could have contributed to why it washed up on the beach. The shark that was caught a few weeks ago was released and you see the shark swim away, but unfortunately, when sharks swim away, that doesn't necessarily mean they are going to live. There are studies that show post-release mortality hours after the shark was caught and swam away because they just can't recover from all of the energy they spent while they were fighting on the line. And no, it's not the shark from that video, but it easily could have been a shark that was caught by them, by another group, and either just bit itself free, luckily, like, you know, was able to get free breaking or snapping the line, or it was released. But clearly, it did not survive. The shark is going to be going to a lab where they can do a necropsy on it, which is basically an autopsy for animals, and they'll get more information, hopefully, to see why the shark was deceased. But shark fishing really does not do anything positive for sharks. Even if you see the shark swim away, there is a high likelihood they do not survive. And I don't know how many times I need to say that to people. They just are like, oh, the shark swam away. It's perfectly healthy. It's all fine. When that's not the case at all. And it makes me so mad. Because then you see things like this, like this beautiful, large white shark who seemingly swam away or got away when it was on the line. And it's still did not make it. And unfortunately, this shark, they'll, they'll confirm it through the lab study, but she looks to be pregnant because of how she's carrying in her stomach and how large and round she is in that area. So this is an individual that is reproducing, replenishing the population, and is washed up on the beach not being able to do that now. Not 100% confirmed or denied that that is from fishing, but any type of fishing is not going to help them in any case if they are dealing with another outside stressor. And it really is so sad to see.